Hey, it's show and tell. What I have here is a replica of Thomas Edison's original light bulb that he patented in uh, 1869. Now, Edison did not invent the light bulb. That's a common misconception. In fact, electric lights go back to 1802. Humphrey Davy, the brilliant uh, British scientist, hooked up uh, a battery that Volta had discovered to a carbon rod, and he made it glow. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't very efficient, and the carbon very quickly decomposed. But in 1840, Warren de la Rue, another British scientist, uh, hooked a little platinum rod to the leads of a battery and uh, put that inside of uh, evacuated glass. And it worked for a short time, but platinum was very expensive. So it kind of faded away. And then in 1860, Joseph Swan, once again in Britain, made the, really the first working light bulb. He uh, carbonized some paper and uh, made a filament of it inside of an evacuated bulb. The problem was that the vacuum wasn't very good and pretty soon the paper burned up. And then Edison came on the scene. And by sweat, by trying many, many different substances, he came up with carbonized bamboo as a filament. And by that time, vacuum pumps had been also very much improved so he was able to make it last longer. Edison was perhaps the most important, most famous inventor of all time. And I really appreciate him because basically he was a chemist. He worked out plastics for his phonograph records. He, he made prefab concrete houses. And of course, he basically invented the first uh, carbon fiber. The uh, Edison light bulb took North America by storm and then the world because it worked so well. It isn't very efficient because much of the energy that is put in is lost as heat. About 80% is lost as heat. Today, uh, of course, we have bulbs that are much more efficient. The LED bulbs work much better than the old-fashioned filaments and uh, carbon filament as invented by Edison was eventually replaced by tungsten, which was much better. But the LED bul uh, bulbs today are far more efficient. And here's a fascinating statistic. If every household in North America replaced one tungsten bulb by an LED bulb, it would be equivalent to taking 800,000 cars off the street or planting 400 million trees. That's pretty impressive. So we can make the case for replacing Edison's light bulbs with LED, but let's not forget the history because at the time that it was introduced, it just lit up the world. And that for today is our show and tell.